As the 1800 presidential election approached, which again pitched, pit, pitted Adams against Jefferson, the stage was set for America's first and most transformative national political campaign. Well, another factor in this campaign, one that um, I didn't think about it, in 18, 1800, and we've been reading about this in some of your accounts, in 1800 the United States remained a fundamentally Christian nation. Almost all the people were Protestants. Oh, there were some Catholics, there were some Jews, there were some agnostics, or atheists, I guess you'd call them back then. But it was fundamentally a Christian nation, even as the nature of the religious establishment was evolving. We've already talked about how before the Revolution, the colonies typically had an established church, except for Pennsylvania and, and, and Rhode Island. And they provided government support for one favored denomination. Usually it was the Church of England in, uh, in most of the states, or in New England, the Congregational Church. And most of the states required office holders to profess their faith in Jesus Christ as Lord. During the Revolution, the Church of England in America renounced the king's leadership and became the Episcopal Church, but still lost its preferred status in most states, with Jefferson leading the charge in Virginia. Dissenting sects, particularly the Baptist and the Methodist, flourished among the people as revivalism spread. Now, remember what was happening in England and what Americans saw. In England, and indeed in all the European monarchies, they had state churches that had propped up the crown and, and repressed dissenters. Some patriots saw our revolution as against monarchism in all, and all of its trappings. Jefferson was one of these, and a state church, to them, was one of these trappings. Now, although there were Enlightenment-era deists and Unitarians and secularists in the uppermost echelons of both political parties, both the future Democratic Party and the Federalist Party, the issue of religion had become increasingly a partisan one in the 1790s and is going to play into the election I'm talking about. 